Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Catherine O'Neill is a retired hedge fund manager living in Sonoma, California, with her dog, Max. Go. Last year, she decided to green her home, but she didn't want to sacrifice design aesthetics. It has to be a house and a home that isn't ugly and doesn't look like a giant green experiment. I wanted a clean, elegant, simple solution. That solution was Passive House, a green building standard developed by two German physicists in 1988. The idea is simple enough. Create an airtight house that minimizes both heating and cooling losses while also providing optimal indoor air quality. One of the keys to having a passive house is lining the building with super thick insulation from the walls to the windows. Rick Milburn is the owner of Solar Nights and helped O'Neill with the renovation. This is a cross section of the wall, um, so this is what is actually behind this siding. If you look to the side over here, you'll see that this is clear and we have a dense pack fiberglass insulation. We have our air and vapor barrier. This system is expanded polystyrene. It helps thermally break the entire building. The entire envelope of this building is wrapped in it. We get to the outside and we have this rain screen and it increases the longevity of the building. Also important is this device. It's what's known as an energy recovery ventilator and it replaces the traditional heating and air conditioning systems that are in most houses today. It's basically the lungs of the house and what it does is we bring in fresh air from the outside, we filter that air, we also capture the heat that's in the outgoing airstream, thus keeping the heat inside the building after the house goes through its green retrofit, a set of tests are performed to make sure it meets the passive house standard. One such test is called the blower door test, which determines whether the house is airtight. The numbers are then entered into a software program, and voila, you'll find out if you have a passive house. The standard is different than the green standard LEED. While LEED uses a point and tiered grading system, Passive House focuses strictly on pass or fail. Green advocates say both standards have strong merits, but Passive House is gaining popularity for its emphasis on energy efficiency. And O'Neill couldn't be happier. They understood my vision, they got it, and they executed beautifully. Okay, good job. For Smart Planet, I'm Sumi Das.